Hi, Kirk Newcomb here for Ingu Company. We have just discovered one of the neatest places in Jackson. It's called Old Medina Winery. It's on Old Medina Road in Jackson. Here's Susan Birmingham to tell you more about it. Old Medina Winery is a good alternative to weekend entertainment. You can come out here with your family, friends, and uh, get a nice bottle of wine, enjoy your meal, bring food out here, uh, eat out on the patio. We've got cheeses that we, Tennessee cheeses you can taste. Uh, it's just a good alternative. Your kids can come, listen to some music, and it's very laid back, casual. Um, every Friday night we have at Old Madonna Winery. It's open mic night from 7 to 10 p.m. And uh, you can come out here again and taste the wines and uh, buy whichever bottle you like and take it out on the patio. And We have a corking station. You uncork your bottle and you can listen to some music. And uh, we have local entertainment. It's our local musicians and artists. We have a jazz band plays on Friday nights. We've got some bluegrass here tonight, so it's a good alternative to come out here on Friday nights. We carry several different types of wine. We grow four different grapes here for Old Medina Winery. They're all Tennessee grapes, and we're making uh, several different types of wine, from a sweet, uh, sweet wine to a dry wine. We've got white wines and red wines and blush wines. Uh, pretty much anything that you might be uh, have a taste for, we've probably got it. When you have a winery in the state of Tennessee, Tennessee is real strict on what a winery carries. So everything that we carry in the winery is uh, wine-related products. Uh, and you carry the, the Tennessee agriculture products also. We make a marinade. Uh, we have the cheeses. We've got some Tennessee butters. And then we have accessories here that are just wine-related products. Well, I come out to Madonna Winery because they have the things that, and the products that I need to make my homemade wine that I come out here and I get the, these are called five gallon carboards and that what they are, you put your, your second, this is a secondary step after you have fermented your product, you put it in this under an airlock and they actually have some of those also, these are the airlocks and you put it there so it won't explode on you so to speak, uh, it actually let the gas come out without, I don't know, letting air in and oxygen is the worst enemy of wine so uh, they have good products for everything you would need, man. Anything you can think about of making wine, they have it. If you ever want to get started making wine, the best thing, if you have nothing to make, is to get one of these. This is a wine making kit. It has everything that you need to make wine from start to finish, and including the book. Uh, I also have a winemaker answering book. Like if I have some specific questions that I have no idea about, get this book, and it has anything you can think about from. I don't know, can you make wine out of coffee? And it'll tell you, yeah, because, uh, and it still will have caffeine in it, believe it or not. So it's a really good book. Uh, Conrad is a really good guy. I come out here to talk to him a lot, too. He has a, little, a lot of good advice uh, about the whole winemaking process along with my uncle. So uh, I enjoy coming out here so much, man. The winemaking is a great thing, a great hobby if you have nothing else better to do, I guess. But it's good to get into. And uh, I love coming out here to the uh, Old Madonna Winery. Find out more about In Good Company anytime you like, day or night, at WBBJTV.com, then go to In Good Company. Now here's a word from longtime Madison County historian Harvard Alexander. Jackson has been the home of a number of famous musicians. All of us know about Mr. Blue Suede Shoes, our own Carl Perkins. But did you know that Sonny Boy Williamson, a legendary harmonica and blues player, was also from Jackson? And another gospel and blues recording artist, Big Maybell, also lives here. Inga Company is sponsored by Robert's Jewelers, 